the last couple of videos we've been looking at chord construction and the ever increasingly large piles of, of notes which go to fit some of these chords and today what I'm going to be looking at is the idea of what happens once we go beyond the ninth tone or the second. Okay well from there we go up another third and we get an eleventh. Okay, oh. There's another sound for it. There are plenty of sounds really but Just before we talk about the construction of other variations, I just want to go back to a point I was making at the end of the preceding video, which is, you know, don't just remember this as an equation, one, three, five, flat seven, nine, eleven. Remember it as a sound, okay? So think of something with an eleventh chord in it. Okay, so we're going to, just have a look at that again. One, three, five, flat seven, nine, and eleven. So that's an eleventh. The next thing to say is, well, what happens if it's minor? Okay, well, that gives us quite a nice... Uh, So works nicely in this position as well. Yeah. Okay. So that's a that's a minor eleventh. Now you could argue really that an eleventh chord is a sort of a sus four, but backed up with other harmonies because it, it has a very similar um, function. Let me just show you that. us four going to A. It's A11 going to A. Okay, now you may well be saying to yourself we're running out of notes and you'd be right. Okay, so we're going to go up another third from there. So now we've got one, three, five, flat seven, nine, eleven and thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's a bit of a snag on a guitar then, isn't it? Right, so what happens is we need to leave out the odd tone to be able to create that chord. But mostly this is about the key tones. So the flat seventh, the third, the thirteenth. So that would be a perfectly acceptable sound for a thirteenth chord. Also here, one, three, five, flat seven, nine, and thirteen. So a minor 13, um, okay, a little bit of stretching to do here. Okay. So that's pretty much it for talking about those particular types of chord construction, but it leads us on to another discussion, really, which is going to be about a couple of other 
types of chords. But as you'll gather, what's tending to happen is we're loaning up those harmonies in thirds, generally speaking. So one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. Now, you get the odd peculiarities where um, a major 11, for example, tends not to happen because it's very hard on the ear. Let's suppose I play this. You hear that, so you, bizarrely, you tend to hear it with a... with an augmented 11th, so it's plus 11, which means it's been raised by 17. So that brings me to the next chapter of chords, which will be about altered chords. So that's it for this one. Uh, so thanks very much for watching and uh, if you could subscribe that would be great and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.